So right now we are entering um, the Juego de la Pelota, which basically translates into the ball court. So I'm going to turn around here. I'm going to get into the shade because I am dying. There's not much shade to be had. And here it is, guys. Juego de la Pelota. ball court so this is part of their entertainment here it was more than entertainment. well yes it was more than entertainment the losing team was killed. That's right, they were sacrificed. The losing team was sacrificed. Occasionally, even the winning team was sacrificed, <laughs> from what I have learned. So the object is to get, get a ball, and you can't touch it So you, with your hands. You can, you can use your hips, your feet, your legs, but not your hands. And you have to put the ball through those little hoops up there. distance here is the Temple of Warriors and the Pyramid of Kukulkan. One of the reasons why this particular site here is considered one of the, um, or has been deemed one of the seven wonders of the world is because of its condition. It's, you know, this architecture our archaeological site is in the best condition of all the ruins that have been found um, in this region, actually. Like the carvings, you can still see a lot of the carvings very clearly. A lot of the structures are still standing. Um, they're not crumbling. Like a lot of the things that we saw were really falling apart and a lot of conservation efforts were in progress to to maintain them and they do that here as well but this is the most intact archaeological site in the region Juego de la Pelota the ball court the ball court we're still in the ball court talk to Yvette into walking down a little farther. She's trying to beat all these people and it's killing me because I can't keep <laughs> up with her freaking fast pace. So she wants to see all these important things that she wants to see before it gets too crowded and I get that. But man, she's just dragging me along like a little rag doll right now. Oh, poor baby. It's hot. Even in the shade it's hot. <laughs> Come on. People, tourists, don't be a tourist, be a traveler. There's a huge difference. Yvette hey, just noticed that some of these blocks here are numbered. We don't, in this area, so we don't know what exactly that means. So we're going to have to try to figure that out. Time for more research, yeah. This is a site that I've been interested in since I was 10 years old. My third grade teacher was really cool. And when it came to learning certain things about cultures and things like that, she was really into it. And we spent three to four months um, in our classroom studying these ancient cultures, the Mayans, the Incans, the Aztecs.
You know, I often wonder if J.K. Rowling, who wrote the Harry Potter series, uh, got some of, her, some of her ideas for the game of Quidditch from <laughs> from these areas, these ball courts. structure here is called the Temple of the Eagles. As you can see the carvings, you can see the eagles carved into the temple. Observatory is. 